All right. Time to finish up this quest, this event. Which has been fun, a fun little diversion. I really do enjoy these kinds of uh, management style games. See, I think I just need to... Uh... Ah, I hadn't harvested everything yet. Silly me. And... I believe I still have some efficiency to improve. Yeah, one more. So we get... Uh, number of marker reports gained simultaneously increased by one. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Useful. Excellent. Do I have those marker reports now? I do. Fantastic. I should be able to much better uh, make money then. But I'm not going to worry about that for the moment. I will add a... Actually, I will. I will worry about it. Uh, director of Yo Yunhan Opera Troupe is preparing to purchase a batch for, of makeup products for their performances. Makeup for their performances. I mean, they need, what, dexterity? Charisma, perhaps? Uh, let's give them wisdom and charisma. We'll see. Technique as well, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Major increase. Holy cow. And... Oh, wow, that... When I added it, uh, sort of on a whim, the wisdom and charisma, that is my best seller. Shocking. Well... I'll need to make a uh, extra version of that then. Assuming those are all the traits I wanted. Yeah, charisma, technique, and fragrant. Can do. I can certainly make an expert of that. Okay, charisma is my primary focus. Maybe easier said than done, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. That slots in quite nice. And we're already almost all the way there. Maybe I can get a second one in. I know we had wisdom. Um, no. Yes. Ooh. Oh, hey, that actually works out quite well. Um, so does that. I think expert will be quite easy. Oh, and technique and fragrant. Fantastic. Should I give you uh, perception as well, just for the hell of it? No. Focus, maybe. Better if I gave you... Oh, there's a perception there too, though, actually. Okay, you slot in right there, Windwheel Asters. So close. Um, technique. Maybe it will be the perception, actually. Yeah. There we go. And then finish you off with a... Uh, mm, is that enough? Expert wisdom? Not enough. Damn it. There we go. Finally figured it out. Expert wisdom, charisma, technique, perception, and fragrant. Wonderful. package. Ooh, level 7, too. Oh, we got the lucky bonus as well. Nice. 
let's see, we have increased efficacy, right, of the ingredients, improve the appearance of the alchemy cauldron to unlock the quick concoction function. Ooh, sounds interesting. And have unlimited potion concoction chances during each operation cycle. Nice. Is that the max alchemy level then? That sounds like a max alchemy level kind of thing. Discard potions. Up to three plans can be saved for each type of potion. Oh. Uh, I mean, I guess discard the uh, weakest one. There we go. It's obviously enhanced as well. All the ones we can. All the good ones, at least. What is this quick concoction? Save formula to perform quick concoctions. When you perform quick concoctions, your save formula will be automatically placed into the cauldron. Though ingredients you ha do not have enough of in storage will not be automatically added. So the reason you might do this is if your ingredients have improved, allowing you to get a better version of the same potion. A bit late for that. I feel like our ingredients are already basically, basically there new wonderful wisdom and charisma and our profits keep soaring love to see it oh wow our uh expert dexterity and wisdom potion wait no where is it our wisdom and charisma potion has uh sunk in the ratings i guess these ones probably got their level improved which fair enough but this was outperforming them even at least in sales quantity even before it was um an expert surprising okay middle currently clearing out monsters in order to protect miners they want to remain calm so relaxing Captain of Leo, a ship wants to improve the constitution. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what that could want. Uh, to ameliorate the effects of seasickness. Maybe also endurance, maybe healing. And then the uh, publishing house is holding a light novel contest and authors are searching for inspiration. Wisdom? I might just keep those for now and see how it does the first time. And with that, all of our ingredients are maxed. Ooh, our revenues also reached past 2 million, so we get our crown. Hmm, <laughs> perfect. All right. And, well, our financials are doing even better. I mean, that didn't change the potions at all. It helps that they're all basically experts now. Lenny! Thanks so much for those amazing potions you and Paimon made. Lynette and I have been rehearsing non-stop for a whole slew of new magic tricks lately. God, I really hope I get to see a magic show from you someday. I do love magic. And we completely wore ourselves out to the point of not being able to concentrate properly. The is all just for show. Just smile and nod along. You know it's also just for show. I all of the rules by heart, but even I don't take them that seriously. Yeah, you know what also is just for show, Eula? Magic. Luckily, Fremine brought us a kind of invigorating potion that cleared our minds right up. He said a merchant from Sumeru was reselling it from another supplier. I found the merchant, and after exchanging a few words, I learned that the inventors of the potion were none other than you and Paimon. Wow. I'm impressed. Knights and aristocrats share the same cultural heritage. You just said that, Eula. But the knights had enough sense to do away with all the superfluous detail. That's actually a different one, never mind. Bravo! No less than I'd expect. Thanks to your help, Lynette and I successfully mastered for a brand new program for the penultimate act of our show. We'll send you an invitation to our next performance in advance, so be sure not to miss it. Cool. Oh. Oh, that was the final phase for now. All right. Even though it was just one round of that single market research, fair enough. 
Over time, your business continues to grow and expand. Damn it. Too quick. Oh, a merchant is here. Yeah, I don't but recognize them. Paimon's not sure they're from Mondstadt, though. Let's go check it out. Sure. Where do you think they're from? Fontaine? They don't quite look Fontanian to me, but I... I don't, maybe I'm wrong. From the next area, maybe? Atafe. Huh. Hello there. The name's Atafe. I'm a traveling merchant uh, from Sumeru. Great to meet you. Yeah, Atafe sound like it was probably from Western Sumeru to me. Or maybe just Sumeru in general. It's a very, uh, the desert portion is what I was guessing, but... You've made quite the journey. Guess news of our humble shop has already spread to all four corners of Tibet. Apparently so. I'm amazed. We've done well for ourselves, Paimon. It's all thanks to you. All our hard work is paying off. <laughs> I have to agree. This venture of yours is becoming quite well known. In fact, many well-informed merchants have heard word of your potion-selling endeavor. Oh? Would they like to, uh, be regular buyers? But most people are still not willing to take a risk on such a rare commodity. No. Come on. If you ask me, though, when the opportunity knocks, you've got to be ready to answer. That's how you make the big Mora. You're not wrong. That is, if you want to make the big Mora, that's how you're going to probably do it. But that's also how you're going to lose the big Mora, too. So... Uh. Although the general public still doesn't know much about alchemical potions right now, with a little effort and marketing on your side, you can carve out a nice space in the market for yourself. Once that happens, the Mora will just keep on flowing. It's been flowing pretty well. I mean, I've made, like, probably three million Mora now. Once you've generated enough demand, you could even increase your prices tenfold. Well... <laughs> With that kind of profit, <laughs> you could even take the rest of the year off if you wanted. I suppose. But then, I don't know. Even if we could, I don't know if I feel good about that. As long as I still offer cheap basic potions, I guess, but... Tenfold? Are you serious? I, I can almost believe it. <laughs> As long as the demand is there, people will pay anything. It's a kind of a you dick move, though. You could say it's a sort of mutual agreement between consumer and supplier. With the way you talk, Paimon can't help but be reminded of a certain other more obsessed <laughs> merchant. Yeah. Yeah, I've only met her once now. But I can see the similarity. They are both from Sumeru. Huh. I wonder if that's just a thing there. Wait, you did say you were from Sumeru. Maybe you know her. Ever met Dory? Wait, you mean Lord Songama Bay? One of the most famous merchants in all Lord... of Sumeru? That Dory? You know her? Lord Songana... Songama Bay? I'm not familiar with that name specifically, but I basically know her, yeah. Now, don't ask me any questions because I don't really know her yet. But we've met a couple of times. Oh, wow. Lord Songama Bay is one of my biggest idols. Aww. Her business sense and dedication to making Mora has always been one of my greatest inspirations. Hmm. I was even lucky enough to visit the Palace of Alcazarzare once. It truly is a magnificent Ooh. sight. Now that sounds like quite the sight indeed. I cannot wait to go there myself. One day... I hope to be just like her. Up to my ears and more <laughs> more than I can count. <laughs> All right, Scrooge McDuck. They don't start salivating on me. Uh, looks like we lost her. Uh, should Paimon snap her out of it? Yeah, or... uh, mm, nah, it's not bother. Let's get back to business. <clears throat> you're right. I seem to have strayed off topic. Just a bit. Don't get me wrong. You're getting me excited for Sumeru again. Back to where we were then. I believe I was telling you how we can make some big Mora together. Uh, by price gouging my customers, I believe you said? The idea is actually pretty simple. You produce the potions, provide me with a regular supply, and I'll help you sell them across to VAT. I mean, I'm more than willing to, su uh, to supply you. 
Afterwards, what you do with the prize is up to you. If that sounds good to you, then we should talk more in depth about what kinds of potions to sell this time around. Well, what do you want? According to my keen market sense, these are the kinds of potions that are currently in demand. While the shop is operating, potion distributors who can help sell potions may drop in. These distributors will have clear requirement uh, requests for the e efficacy and amounts of potion they want. Oh, maybe that's why we need to uh, make additional of the same type. Um, develop a distribution strategy with them and select two advant advantageous strategies out of the several to gain great benefits. As these distributors will not change their area of operations, these advanta advantageous strategies will be fixed for each location. Analyze their sales and financial statements to see if your business tactics are working. Well, what do you want? Push them with constitution? Um, well, try a basic constitution. Bad. Well. Constitution and strength. And, uh, constitution and charisma. How about that? Ooh, uh. I don't know. Hundredfold guarantee, limited bet time, batch sales, celebrity endorsement, bulk purchase discount, and I mean, academia certification would probably be a huge hit in Sumeru. And then, yeah, free sample. At the face, shoulders her bag and leaves. Excellent. Oh, Fred has new supplies. Sales expansion contract. Engage an additional distributor. Why not? And some shop decorations. Um, man, these are expensive. Are those 200,000 each? You can buy one. I'll wait around maybe. Oh, there she, uh, there they are. Well, market-wise, it looks like our potions hit all the bullet points, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right. Oh, wait, I should deal with you first. Hello, sir. Deo. From Inazuma? Greetings. I'm, oh no, you're from Liyue. Deyo, a merchant from Liyue. Oh, are you here to purchase potions too? That's right. Your store's doing pretty well, so I'm sure my sales will go will be good this time. Yeah, very sure. Well, our potions are top notch. I'm sure you can do well if you are uh, a good traveling merchant. Sound very confident. Hey now, our potions are selling super well. Orders just keep pouring in. We can barely cope. My apologies. I'm not doubting your sales figures. You're doubting your own ability. It's my business that hasn't been going too well. Every time I buy popular products, they just don't sell before prices go down all around. I post losses nine times nine out of ten times. Yeah, maybe you should find another line of work then. How are you still in business if you post that many losses? I always convince myself it's just bad luck. But if I have nothing but bad luck, does that mean I'm just not cut out for this? I, I'll i be honest, that is what it sounds like to me. If I don't make any money this time, I'll pack up, head home, and just work for my father. Hmm. Perhaps the issue is, well, product and sales strategy. But if you're buying popular products, it's probably your sales strategy. Is that so? I suppose there's still much for me to learn. Right. You're right. I can't stay down like this. I'll make money this time. 
and I'll impress my father. Make him see what I'm made of. Okay, down to business. Let's talk terms. These are the types of potions I plan, uh, potion I plan to purchase this time. Wisdom, huh? Well, I'm actually not positive I actually lose these. Shoot. I guess I can only give you two, huh? All right. I guess I'll need another. I have wisdom, dexterity, wisdom, charisma. You'll have to wait a little longer, buddy. All right, how about a wisdom and strength? There you go. And you're not from academia, so... Let's see, what would... Hmm... What would Liwa like? 100 fold guarantee? Let's try that. And once again, let's give him a free sample delivery. And our uh, sales are pretty flat. I don't know. Or maybe those are the wrong sales. Ooh. You just give me 400,000. Nice. Great job, cuties. Jean's asked for her subordinates to provide us with additional funds. Here you go. She's not, like, shaking down the knights for, the, for this money, is she? I'd feel really bad about that. Sucrose! Yeah, I've been waiting for you. Ready for the next exam? Oh, you're back! Wait, that must mean there's a new exam! Yeah. Yep, it's time for the advanced exam. This mm. one will be harder than previous exams, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. I actually had Mr. Albedo take a look at your previous potions. He was a bit amazed that someone wow. so new to potion making could already produce such an impressive result. Oh, shoot. If that's the case, I have nothing to worry about. Mr. Albedo is the foremost expert in the entire world on potion making, so... I mean... I, I can't think of higher praise. He even told me that for someone of your talent, we could stand to set harder questions. Well, okay, but this isn't just for me. This is for other people as well. Wow. Uh, the recognition feels nice and all, but I don't feel even more pressure now. I know. I'm feeling it. The weight on my shoulders. If we don't pass this time, it'll be super embarrassing. Well, I think we'll get it, though, Paimon. Don't worry too much about that. Lots of things in life require a couple of tries before you get it right. Yeah, there's no problems there. No shame in having to retake it. When I first started working as Mr. Albedo's assistant, all sorts of unexpected things would go wrong during my experiments. Yeah. For example, when I was studying the properties of mist flowers, I accidentally froze all <laughs> the equipment in the lab. Aww. I basically turned them into ice sculptures. Our precision instruments were nearly ruined beyond repair. Oof. And those are expensive. I don't know how bad it is here in Mondstadt, but that a lot of that kind of equipment can easily run tens of thousands of dollars on the low end. Another time, I had let a reagent boil for a little bit too long. And all the precious ingredients inside got charred to pieces. The smell was so bad. Several nights passing by, I thought the lab had caught fire. <laughs> Aww. Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. But eventually I realized that in order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. That you do, Sucrose. That you do. A fear of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. 
Good advice. You're absolutely right. Hey, you're actually really good at motivating people. She is. I love Sucrose. She's... Ah, she's just so precious. <laughs> it's just my experience talking. I've spent a lot of time doing research in the lab, after all. Anyway, as long as you try, you'll learn something valuable from the experience. Well, we will do our best. All right. Whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the advanced exam. I'm ready. You ready, Paimon? Advanced... Concoct a potion with advanced... Higher grade... Whose efficacies include wisdom. Okay. Uh, advanced... Which is level plus eight. Displays the fragrant characteristic. Use at least five different types of ingredients. Five different types of ingredients. Oof. Um, surprisingly, only needs one efficacy, though. All right, though. Let's get down to wisdom. You fit in there very nice. Um... I guess let's, uh, what are some of the others we need to do? Rubedo Imminent. We need Fragrant. And five different ingredient types. Okay, that's fine. I can get Fragrant. See some flowers. Put you there. Be another Fragrant something. Yeah. That's Fragrant. One, two, three, four. One more type of ingredient. Five. Well, let's keep building up the, um... The level. There we go. That should be more than level eight. Count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, fragrant we have. Advanced will definitely reach plus eight. And we do have wisdom. Perfect. Excellent. What do you think, Sucrose? We do well? Wow. You even breezed through the advanced exam. I know, right? I'm proud of us. My mostly thanks to yours, Lisa's. Yours and Lisa's tutelage, though. Ever thought about helping out around the lab? I'm, I'm open to it. I mean, I'm a little busy searching around the world for my brother. But I, I'm... In my free time, I'm more than happy to help you with your research. Drop everything and pursue the path of an alchemy master? Huh. What do you say, Traveler? Not sure we're quite ready for that, but... Yeah, we can certainly help out. If we work together, I'm sure we can make something super amazing. Make an even sweeter Sensetia? I'd love to do that. By super amazing... Do you mean you already have something in mind? Oh? Well, in the past, my research was mainly focused on the study of plants. But this experience has shown me that potions can have all kinds of effects on people as well. Right. So... If I'm getting this right, when you and Albedo are doing alchemy research, it's mostly, like, it is still using potions primarily, but... Studying the effects of different potions on different things. In your case, on plants and using potions to make super sweet sensetias. In Albedo's case, uh, uh, making paintings come to life. If I remember right, it's been long enough that I've mm, a little iffy on that one. So, I started thinking. What if potions could have an even greater effect on people? Oh? Like, what if they could be used to help people unlock their hidden potential? 
Hmm. I mean, they sort of do. They increase strength and dexterity and wisdom and charisma, etc. A memory enhancing potion, for example, could help people memorize a whole library's worth of knowledge Ooh. in a single breath. I want that. I want the memory enhancing potion so bad. Alternatively, a strength enhancing potion could make it so that Paimon could take down an abyss mage all on her own. <laughs> I want to see that. I really, really want to see that. What do you say, Paimon? You up for it? We never did get you that Paimon sized armor, you know. Whoa. Paimon didn't know you could make potions like that. Sounds awesome! I mean, we've made strength potions. Like, we try feeding you one Paimon and then throw you at an Abyss Mage. See what happens. I promise to intervene if you're getting burned, you know, too bad. Probably. Well, it's certainly theoretically possible. Alchemy is, in itself, a way to explore the unknown. It's a discipline with endless potential. In fact, Current research has barely scratched the surface of what's possible with alchemy. Wow. Well, like I said, we're more than willing to assist you. Theory, though, is always easier than practice. And with alchemy, there are simply too many things that you have to take into consideration. Just off the top of my head, there's the theory of sublimation, the potion's mechanism of action, and the innate metabolism of the person consuming the potion. Hmm. You're gonna have to give me a full course on these sucrose if you really want me to be able to help you, but... Uh... Paimon didn't quite catch all that. <sighs> My bad. We can talk about the details some other time. Sure. If you're interested, just stop by the lab. Well... I don't think I've ever known where your lab is, though, Sucrose. Is it, like, in the library, or...? Sweet! Watch out, world! With a cool potion from Sucrose, Paimon will be able to become <laughs> the strongest guide into Vest in no time! <laughs> I mean... I don't know, Paimon, how many other guides are there? Is there a lot of competition? Does... No, no, I was gonna say, does Dane's Leaf count as a guide? But he kind of really doesn't. At least, not for us. Well, I'll be off then. Only one more exam to go. I imagine you and I will both have some final preparations to make. Sure thing. I look forward to seeing what you throw at us. There we go. All the shop decorations. Can we see them? I actually don't really know where to look basically the same to me. Hey, you two. How did you do? Hello there. The potions from earlier have sold out. Excellent. I've organized the sales data for you. Feel free to have a look. Wow. Um. Oh, man. Yeah, I was right there. The Academia Certification. Oof. But the free sample delivery was, yeah, not that great. Surprising. I would have thought people would love the free sample. Let's get right to talking about this deal, shall we? This time she wants strength, huh? There you go. Well, I'm going to stick with Academia. Uh, hmm. A bulk purchase discount, maybe? And how about you, Deo? You sell out, too? Excellent. This is the sales situation. Okay. Um, oh, well, both of them had impressive results. I think I'm going to stick with that, then. I don't think I could do better than impressive. Look forward to working with you in the future. Uh, 
It's uh, dexterity. Okay. Let's stick with the previous. I don't know how many rounds of this there are going to be for the remaining in the game, but let's uh, continue on. Cho. I hope this humble token of my boundless gratitude for the kindness and care your noble selves have shown will prove of some use to your honorable endeavor. You really are quite the writer, aren't you? Hmm, more relaxed tone might be better. Lest this seem like some overly stilted business letter from the famed Commerce Guild. It was uh, feeling a bit formal, but I thought you were just trying to be, uh, Sort of, not poetic, but, you know, flowery with your language. Recently, I've been reading too many books with novel, conce novel conceptions and find myself still pondering the ideas there uh, therein, even after tolling of the midnight bells. Go to bed earlier, Sing Cho. Unable to embrace the sweet solace of sleep. My house servants aristocratic etiquette is all just for show. Yes. Just smile and nod along. I mean, Sing Cho basically admitted all that. Of the rules by heart. Above Even that it was I just for show. Seriously. Um, my household servants recommended a certain calming potion. It was most effective, completely carrying my insomnia. After making detailed inquiries after, uh, into the provenance of said potion, the reply came... The golden-haired traveler. Ah, such fortuitous fate. The reputation of your alchemical emporium precedes it. Praise you for it pouring from the lips of work? all. <laughs> all right, then. I'll teach you. Oh, yes. I'll, I'll teach, teach you, you all right. right. Mark, Mark my words. words. For it has helped many conquer the conundrums that confounded them. Perhaps this, too, can be considered a form of chivalry. I don't know if I go that far. I shall recommend your masterpiece to several author friends of mine. Perhaps soon you shall be known as by the title of Grand Master of Elixirs. I mean, with the way things are going, I might. All right, well, like always, we'll just keep going with the current stock. I think we're basically fine. All right, cycle two. Looks like we got a better strategy this time. Or not. They weren't a fan of the bulk purchase discount either. Surprising once again. Well, um, who knows? Maybe they like celebrities. I don't know of any academia celebrities, but let's go with it. All right. Oh, wow. Our sales increased that time. I guess whatever the current market research was, our selection of potions was better for it. Nice. Hey! Oh, so you're Hirara the ones behind Goro. the potion shop I've heard so much about. When it comes to fulfilling requests, I heard the customer's wish is practically your command. I will do my best, I promise. How are you doing, though? I haven't seen you since the, uh, the war with the Shogun. Man. It's been a while. It feels like it's been so long. Huh? Goro? Where did you come from? Inazuma, presumably. Watatsumi Island, more specifically. Oh, and Kirara's here, too! <laughs> I love the way what she you guys doing in Mondstadt? popped up from behind him like that. Also, the very catty look on her face. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Comania Express operates all across to that, so I'm always on the road. <laughs> Doing the kitty thing. <laughs> I love her. And that's true, though. She is. I'm actually pretty familiar with Mondstadt from my trips here in the past. General Goro, on the other hand, seems to still be getting the lay of the land. He got yeah. lost not too far from here. Well, luckily he had you with him, right? Or did you just sort of find him lost and rescued him? 
Well, I would normally be provided with ample intel before carrying out an <laughs> operation in a foreign territory. Uh. But Watatsumi Island isn't exactly home to many people who've been to Mondstadt. No, it is not. I wasn't even able to obtain a map of the region. Yeah, especially with how it's been closed off for so long. Yeah. Not surprising you wouldn't have knowledge or maps. But hey, like I said, at least you have your rock right here. Also, I don't know if I'd be carrying out an operation in foreign territory. That, it makes it sound like we're at war. We're not. I basically had to perform initial reconnaissance in the middle of a formal operation. Not exactly ideal conditions for an air-free mission. Uh, Goro, please stop calling it that. <laughs> Affirmative, General. <laughs> Next time, I'll procure the most detailed map available and make sure you have it at your disposal from mission mm -hmm. outset. Over and out. I love her. Uh, you can drop the formalities, Kirara. I don't expect you to report back to me like I'm your commanding officer. We hired you as a consultant. It wouldn't be fair to treat you like one of my soldiers. <laughs> She's just messing with you. Hey now, it's not like this is some one-sided partnership. We agreed, right? In exchange for my services, you'll help promote our business to the people of Watatsumi Island. Your good word will be integral in helping mm -hmm. Komania Express become people's first choice for all their delivery needs. And you are such a good face for the Komania, uh, company, Kirara. Like, truly. They couldn't ask for better, uh, they could not ask for a better delivery cat, or, or a better, um, face. Our future appetizer. business is counting on you. Back to Paimon's question, though. You still haven't told us what you're doing in Mondstadt. You mentioned something True. about a mission? Yeah, what, what's that all about? Is it just to procure potions? Ah, uh, yes. It's a funny story, actually. Recently, Watatsumi Island has been looking for ways to increase transportation efficiency. Basically, okay. this means improving the operations of our cargo ships. So, we decided to send teams across to VAT to learn about the most advanced techniques different nations have to offer. I, okay, um, not sure if our potions will be able to help there, but you tell me what you want and I'll get it to you. We had just wrapped up our trip to Liwei when we heard word of your mysterious potion shop. So we decided to postpone our return journey for a bit and come check it out. Well, I promise you will not leave disappointed. Turns out it was the right choice. Hmm. <laughs> Well, Paimon's gotta say, you practically hit the jackpot by coming here. Bet you we have. get stuff you can't find anywhere else. Well. Okay, Paimon. You do realize we've been selling a lot to uh, traveling merchants and, you know, who have actually literally been taking our stuff anywhere else. We'll make you something super special. You'll, ma you'll make sure... We'll make sure you leave with something fun and useful. Oh, more customers from abroad. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> My cuties sure are popular. Yeah, we you are. really do have friends all over to that. Yeah. And uh, soon we'll have friends from even more places. Hmm. Looking at your two friends here... I can't help but be reminded of my dear little wolf cub. Oh, what, Razor? You know what? I should introduce you sometime. Yeah. For some reason, I have a feeling the three of you would really hit it off. I haven't seen Razor in a while either, yeah. Since, uh... The, uh... Well, actually, no, the last time would have been the last, uh, merchant event, I think. Where he was, uh, discovering the meaning of, uh, his, um... Was it Lupacall? Whatever the word for family was, I think. In fact, once you've wrapped up your potion purchasing, why don't you both Special join wine. me and my cuties for afternoon tea? I'll even yeah. bring my student along. Yes. That sounds lovely, Lisa. What a great idea. Afternoon tea? Sounds great. I could really use some refreshments. Long days of deliveries always leave me parched. Ugh. Thanks for the invitation. Mm-hmm. Uh, she does run around me everywhere. Take no for an answer. Hell no. Wait, why does this feel so familiar? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, Traveler, care to make some introductions? That look on Traveler's face, great as always. She also, uh, this is the Guardian Mage of Tomes and Spells. She also makes a mean cup of tea. G Guardian Mage? Yeah. Wow, what an impressive title. Is it a position similar to that of a Guji? 
<laughs> That's fantastic. Um, I'm gonna say no. Not quite. I mean, they both sort of have a bunch of books, I guess. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay, Miko. Have you scarred Goro? Wait, could it be that I'm in the presence of someone as high ranking as Her Excellency, like Lady Sanganomiya herself? Um. No, no one in Mondstadt has that kind of uh, position over others. Not really. The closest at the moment would be Jean. Honestly, Traveler, you're gonna give the guy a heart attack. What? I didn't do anything. Don't be nervous, Goro. That's just a, a nickname. Her real name is Lisa. She works as the librarian here in Mondstadt, and she's also the person in charge of our shop. That she is. She is also an excellent mage, and she will zap you with her lightning if you displease her. Be careful, and good luck. Lisa, this is Goro. He's a super powerful general from Watatsumi Island. And this is Kirara. She's a super punctual delivery woman mm, with Kobe yes, she Express. Ah. Uh. Kirara. Hmm, the name sounds familiar. She has been in Monster oh, before. The collection of books from Inazuma that I have in the library. Oh. You were the one who delivered them, yes? What a helpful little gem you are. Oh. I didn't even know you had a bunch of Inazuman books in the library. <laughs> I'm glad our paths have crossed again, Miss Lisa. I hope you'll consider me for future delivery jobs as well. <laughs> as for my cutie's other acquaintance, I believe I've read a few articles about you, General Goro. Really? I seem to recall more than a few references to your empathetic nature and skillful approach to leading your troops. He is quite skilled, yes. Still surprised we have articles about that, though. I mean, there wasn't really... I, I guess after, after the fact, eventually the information would have made it here. Let me guess. Your troops are also the focus of your potion inquiry here today? Probably. Exactly. Commercial activity between Watsutsumi Island and other regions has been on the rise recently. The workload has increased so much, both the soldiers who work on our shipping convoys and the sailors who work on the merchant vessels are struggling to keep up. That's a problem. So you need, uh... Hmm. Does that mean to help them move quicker? What would really come in handy would be a potion that could help them handle their intense workload. Like, one that could enhance their energy and physical strength. Mm, yeah, I can help you there. Okay. It's a pretty basic one. I could one. definitely use a potion like that as well. Oh, perfect. You could also probably use the dexterity one, too. When I'm out on a long delivery, you wouldn't believe how tired my legs would get from trekking across all that <laughs> rugged terrain. I can Not believe to it. to mention the damage it does to my paws. Aww. <laughs> Your, uh, paws. I never noticed you had those, uh, really sharp fingernails or claws before. My cutie should be more than familiar with that kind of potion by now. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they'll have it done in no time. We've got this. Yep, leave it to us. Probably have already finished it, in fact. Well, while you two hop to it, I'm going to find an idle knight to deliver a letter to my little wolf cub. Perfect. And ask him to treat us to the pleasure of his company. <laughs> Once my cuties are done brewing a potion that satisfies your needs, we'll all celebrate over afternoon tea. You have the best ideas, Lisa. Can we invite some others, though? I would... Uh... <laughs> afternoon tea on the banks of Cider Lake. Oh, wonder what that'll be like. Lovely. Ooh, I can't wait to find out. As long as the sun holds. <sighs> I'm just glad I finally found a way to help my troops. We have other potions that'll help them too. Oh no, wait. <laughs> I thought I've told you this before, that if you want to pass through the forest undetected, you're going to want to wet your tails. Oh. Wet fur doesn't get snagged on branches and twigs as easily as dry fur. Really? You'll be able to slip on by, and your enemies will be none the wiser. But that would involve, you know, a cat and water. Do uh, you see the problem here, Goro? Nuh-uh. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I can't stand my tails wet. Yeah. I'd be better off uh, tying them in a knot or something. 
Or, better yet, improving my fighting skills so that I don't have to sneak by them in the first place. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to understand, Goro. Cats plus water equals unhappy days for you. Oh, you're here. How's the potion coming? Wonderful. I just need to talk to you first, though. Well, I'm rooting for you. I've seen how capable you are. No way a few alchemical roadblocks can stand in your way. No siree. <laughs> I thought I told you this before. That oh. if you want to pass through the... It is the yeah, same uh, conversation. That's not... Oh, you're here. How's the potion coming? All right, fine. I'll hand over the potion now. Uh, strength and endurance. Or that displays endurance. Oh, I see. Well, I'll just give you this very basic state of strength plus endurance. Goro, Kirara, your potion is now ready. Why don't you give it a try? Yeah. Do tell us what you think. Honest review of the results. Wonderful. You two sure work fast. <laughs> well... Need to drink it. Hmm. Yes. Wow. My right shoulder was acting up from using my bow so much, but a few drops of your potion, and the pain is completely gone. That's surprising. I don't think this is a healing potion. The, the pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It's like it was never there. <laughs> I thought you dealt in potions, not magic elixirs. I mean, the difference is, uh, Kind of a matter of perspective, I think. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. You are insanely impressive, Kirara. Looks like we've got another hit on our hands. Guess we can add the people of Watatsumi Island and the workers at Komania Express to our list of happy customers. Mm, yeah, we can. Well done, me. Well, now that our work is out of the way, <laughs> there's nothing standing between us and that afternoon tea we were promised. Careful, Paimon. Don't set any flags. Oh, perfect! Razor's here! Is Razor here too, though? I don't see him. I'm sorry to report, my little wolf cub appears to be busy. Damn it. I sent someone to fetch him in Wolvendom, but he wasn't there. It's such a shame he's going to miss the opportunity to meet some fellow furry-eared companions. That really is a shame. Man, Razor's awesome. But I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet in the future. In fact, the next time I see him, I'll be sure to tell him about the two of you. It'll give him something <laughs> to look forward to. So long as you uh, come back. Could also invite Lynette, right? She has furry ears, doesn't she? Mmm. While Kirara appears to enjoy her meal immensely, Goro seems a bit nervous. Wow, you've placed quite the sizable order. Thank you for your patronage, my Inazuman friends. This is, uh, oh, potions, I was going to say. You're not making them pay for the tea, are you? But not yet. The potions will be good for them. Serve their purposes very nicely. If feedback on the potion is favorable, I hope you'll consider re-upping your supply when the time comes. If making yep. the journey proves too troublesome, we can always ship them to you. True. Out of the mysterious Dornman port, even. Of course! I have a feeling this super powerful alchemical craft of yours could be a game changer for the entire delivery industry. Absolutely. I'll be sure to collect detailed feedback from my troops. Anyway, we should head out. Until next time, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, and it was a pleasure meeting you, Miss Guardian Mage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a pleasure seeing you again, Goro. Bye, Goro. Bye, Kirara. I'll miss them. Who knows when we'll next see them. Oh. Hmm. The next time I'm in Mondstadt, I should make it an official visit. Yeah. A formal meeting between yeah, the and ran the off. Honorable Guardian Mage is sure to be a momentous occasion. Yeah, Kirara wastes no time. And actually, yeah. Meeting between Sangonomiya Kokomi and Librarian Lisa. I, I, wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Oh, seems like that made-up title really had an impression on him. It's given him all sorts of funny ideas. I mean, 
Lisa's impressive. She could probably... I mean, it wouldn't even have to just be her for something that important. Meeting with Jean, Lisa, some of the others. Pretty good visit. Goro. Thanks so much. The assistance you rendered to both Watatsumi Island and Koma Komania Express was incredibly important. Oh, 180,000. All right. The only remaining task is to pass the expert exam, which I'm sure we can do. All right. Did we finally get a good sales strategy? Yes, we did. Celebrities and the certification. Approval from two very different avenues. Well, with that, we have our everything we need for both of them. All right, next up, you continue on to the shop. Thanks for wow. your hard work. Wow, I have to hand it to you, cuties. I never imagined that you'd be able to bring in so much Mora in such a short amount of time. I know, right? We have kick-started a whole new industry for Mondstadt. You're practically geniuses when it comes to business. Hmm. <laughs> All thanks to your help, though. <laughs> Only so humble. Although, with results this impressive, I would say you could stand to take a bit more credit. I mean, if you're offering reward, I'm not going to turn it down. If I had your help all the time, I bet I could take double the <laughs> amount of vacation without a care in the world. What about me, though? I need vacation time, too. With all of your hard work up to this point, we've already collected enough sales data for our research. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much for all your help. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. Of course, if you're interested in continuing to run the shop, you'd make me a very happy Lisa. <laughs> well, I would love to make you happy. In either case, I should already Jean. have more than enough to report back to Jean with. I think Jean's here to report, or uh, take your report now. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Yeah, I mean, I did just do your story quest, but that was technically a long time ago. Oh, you're here. I wrapped up some business with my cuties and was just about to go report back to you at headquarters. No need. I already talked to some other knights, so I think I have a fairly good understanding of the situation. <laughs> Looks like you've troubled the traveler to help you once again. Yeah, she did. Uh, surprised it wasn't at your request. <laughs> How could I not? When it comes to work as important as this, a smart and capable partner is simply a must-have, especially if we want good results. I really, really thought you would have approved this, you know, us running it. Look at the success of the shop. I could have never produced that kind of result on my own. Ah, oh, you sell yourself too short. You're already an expert potion, potion crafter, are you not? So... Well... I do have to admit, your success is remarkable. Thank you, Jean. I've been meaning to come see you for some time now, but work kept getting in the way, and I simply couldn't find the time. Regardless, I just knew I had to come thank you in person. Hmm. <laughs> well, I should thank you for your support as well, but it, it was really a group effort. It's truly reassuring to have such outstanding members among our ranks. Hmm. Thank you, Jean. <sighs> Once this is all over, I do believe I'm due for a vacation. Lisa, what was your last vacation? How many weeks ago? I've lost quite a few strands of hair to all the stress. Oh no. Well, we definitely can't have that. Your hair is too lovely. Of course. Thank you for all your hard work. Seeing you cooped up in that library all the time... I was worried you might be bored, so I thought I'd give you an opportunity to truly make use of your talents. Yeah, she might have been, but she was also surrounded by books all the time, so maybe who knows? Because it depends on how much she loves reading. Perhaps I put too much on your plate at once. It wasn't that bad. After all, it's not like I was in it alone. Yeah. All the help from the knights and the traveler really helped to lessen the load. Yeah, like I said, group effort. 
Plus, it was fun to get back into research. It's nice to relive those days every once in a while. Hmm. I'm glad to hear that. Not that you want to go back to the Academia or anything. Thank you again for all your help, Traveler. Please take this as your compensation. <gasps> Thank you, Jean. What'd you give me? Some gems? Oh, speaking of compensation, I've also prepared a little memento for you. Oh, Lisa. Here, I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Oh. I always love these artwork ones. I'm not sure whether it was a little potion or... Felix Felicium. Let's see. A peculiar potion Lisa concocted for you that seems to shine with a golden sheen. It is said to bring the user good luck, ensuring all their every endeavor will succeed until the effects wear off. Man, that's nice. As the ingredients required are exceedingly rare, and the brewing process de devilishly complex, only a few have succeeded in concocting it. Nice. Well, I will say that it seemed like the end, but we still technically have uh, the final exam. Oh, Jean, you're here. Public reception towards alchemical potions has been much more favorable than expected. Excellent. I, I mean, I kind of disagree. I, it's exactly as I expected. If things continue like this, the potions industry could end up becoming a new revenue stream for the entire region of Mondstadt. That's what I've been saying. I mean, before, really, Mondstadt was being carried by its wine industry. Almost exclusively. This will really help them out. We've got more than enough time to make big plans for the future. Right now, we should focus on the hard-earned success we've been able to achieve so far. <laughs> How about we find a time to celebrate together? What do you think? I'm down. Ooh, a celebration? As long as there's yummy food, Paimon's in! Damn straight. Of course. Once I've made the preparations, you'll be the first to know. I'll even do you the honor of extending your invitation in person. <laughs> and, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna hold you to this, Lisa. Oh, that does sound nice. You certainly deserve to relax after all your hard work. There we go. Perfect. Oh, is it time for the expert exam already? Our alchemy skills are improving so fast, Paimon can barely keep up. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna pass this expert exam with flying colors, Paimon. Your progress has been very impressive. In fact, according to the way Mr. Albedo designed the exams, passing the expert level would mean you're now qualified to mentor other people. Amazing. We could start to teach other people? That is awesome. Then Paimon's totally going to start a class. <laughs> um, let's see. How much should Paimon charge per student? <laughs> Damn it, Paimon. Uh, wait, maybe make the class first and then worry about that. Well, all Paimon knows right now is that for homework, her students are going to have to use alchemy to make all sorts of tasty <laughs> treats. <laughs> of course. Paimon will be sure to give them lots of feedback. Of on course. On alchemy skills, of course. Of course. Uh, you could also do one where they have to turn, you know, I don't know, rocks into gold, into treasure. Well, I'm on. I'm sure this one will go just as well as the others. I think so too. I'm ready to begin whenever you are. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you, Sucrose. That makes me feel better. Okay, expert grade. Charisma. Well, at least plus eight. Perception and steadying. Tuning rate 280%. Okay, we have perception and steadying already. We are advanced charisma. We need to do better. Okay, that's probably pretty good. Expert charisma check perception studying check 
shooting rate over 8 280%. Check. And if this doesn't reach uh, plus 8, I'll be shocked. Hmm, <laughs> there we go. And that was almost a max level potion. Well, Sucrose. All right, let me give your potion a try. Yep, the effect looks good. Excellent. The quality of your potion is quite high as well. Your talent in this discipline is truly remarkable. Well, still pales in comparison to you, of course. Your mastery is nothing we could ever hope to achieve. So, we passed? Can we teach alchemy now? <laughs> I guess so. What an amazing achievement, cuties. Oh, congratulations. I guess we've learned a thing or two about potion making. But we're, we're, yeah, we're still by no means experts when it comes to everything else. Now is not the time to be humble. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time. That's an impressive achievement, no matter how you look at it. Yeah, it really hasn't been much time at all. Quite the impressive feat. Exactly. I was also really surprised at how quickly you picked it up. I thought it would have taken way more time. Me too. Anyway, thank you so much for your help. Your participation has allowed me to collect some very valuable data. With everything we've learned, we should be able to offer the official exam soon. Excellent. You gonna open up some classes or are you gonna let Paimon take care of all that? This is sure to be a critical moment in the development of the alchemical potions industry. Paimon feels like she just took part I mean, in something super important. I think he did. Spreading alchemy throughout the world is going to be a major game changer. Of course. You two are practically pioneers. What you've been able to contribute to the field of alchemy is as impressive as a biologist discovering a new species. Hmm. Anyway... I should probably head back and go over the data I've collected. Sure thing. I do hope we can hang out again sometime soon, though. Traveler, Paimon, thanks again for your participation. If you have some free time, please stop by the lab. I mean, I'll try. Like I said, I would love to visit your lab, but I just never known it where it is. Well, excellent. Have we technically finished the quest line or not? We have all the rewards, I think. You know, profits keep improving, but it does seem like that was probably was when Jean showed up. The end. Yeah, they probably have a list of these that they'll cycle through randomly. All right, then. In that case... Oh. Ah. All right, we got 13 wishes worth of Prima Gems from this, or... I guess technically a few less since that was, uh... Not just from this event, but nice. Very nice. That'll help us with getting... Not you, unfortunately, but, uh... After you... Help, help, help us hopefully get the... Both... Uh... Characters. Yeah, it'll be tough. We'll have to get very lucky to do so. Have to prioritize which one we go for. Which will probably be Kazuha since we'll be able to use him much quicker. So actually, while I'm here... Standard banner. Nice. We get uh, hmm, the Rain Slasher again. Not very special. Sacrificial bow, very nice. Not as great as the string list for me, but still nice. Surprisingly, no 
characters. I guess on the standard banner, they don't have the rule where you get a character every other one guaranteed. Still, nice. All right, then. Next time, we will... Hmm. I kind of really want to dive into the chasm, but I also kind of really want to do your guys' quests. Well, I'll make the decision then. For now, I'll see you guys next time.